Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody, he said he wants to crop this graphic and print it on this tennis shoe. First and foremost, you need to, all pictures aren't the same, you know, uh, real scale. This one could possibly be, that's nine in inches. So, you know, the best thing to do is, you know, find out what your shoe is and just, you know, measure two points. And if it's 11 and a half, uh, you're good to go. If not, you can scale your picture down and you can actually crop it. And I'll just go ahead and do that. But instead of using the crop tool, we're going to use the intersect tool that we did earlier. And get it about there, but make sure you get the whole shoe. That's pretty close. And then grab both graphics where you'd want to make a copy and then use the intersect tool. And it's going to intersect Well, I'm grabbing those lines. Well, okay. His graphic is not complete. Um, so, well, it should, should still intersect. Let's take his lines away. So we can just grab that. Well, it might have intersected it, but it see it's have caused it a problem. So let's just delete his lines right there. So you're going to bring this in to crop it. So I'm going to use the intersect tool. That way, both both shoes will still be there. And then there is your size of your shoe. Of course, you'd want to do it to both. And if the if you measured it and it's you know 12 inches with your ratio lock you know, make it 12 inches and then you're ready to go. So we're going to go and use my graphic. And I'm, I'm guessing he's already done a pretty good job of that. But the red line he was talking about, I draw everything in hairline. So if we take the two point line, see he's drawing in, uh, I'm going to make it red and a hairline. Uh, to me, it just makes it a lot easier. Hit F12 on your keyboard, change it to a hairline. To me, it's easier to work with. And then he also said he was going to tape off, you know, part of the shoe. So if I was going to do that, I would, you know, maybe do this. And we could go ahead and, you know what, it'd be better just to start with the three-point line and go from about there to right there and kind of get the curvature. And then this part, the part is going to tape off so it won't print on the rubber part of the shoe. I'd use the three-point line again to get this turn. So we'll go to about there and get that turn. And, and or you could copy the, you know, the exact shoe. But since he's going to tape it off, let me go ahead. And because his lines weren't uh, connected, it's not a solid, whoop, I want to get the three-point line and go from about right there to right there and, and give it a little bit of curve. And you don't, you wouldn't have, because he's gonna tape, he wouldn't have to do this. But he mentioned that he was gonna tape off. I have no clue in printing. And I'm gonna extend this a little bit more and then, see I didn't quite get the bottom of the shoe, but we're just gonna imagine that it's down in here. Now to make that a solid, let's see how big this thing is, it's seven inches. Set my nudge factor to eight. I'm going to go ahead and you don't have to, but I'm going to change your duplicate distance to zero, zero. Now I'm going to take the shoe and I'm going to use the smart fill tool to fill in that shape and then see I've got a leak. So that's why I'm going to do it. And hopefully it'll stop in just a second. Uh, well, there's the leak right there. I can see it. Um, only problem I have with Corel, I wish they had a like a stop action button. So back up, and and that's why I always put a rectangle around, and you can see where I messed up. Just take your shape tool and just put it, grab that line and connect to that note. Now this time we will use a rectangle, and then take the smart fill tool and fill that in, and we got it. So now I can nudge that over wherever I want. Now we can get rid of all this. And also, you could also flip this for the next shoe if you feel confident. 
So now we have this shape, and we're going to go ahead and left-click, no fill. I'm going to go ahead and right-click a red hairline, and I'm going to put it in my graphic. And he actually had a transparency that you could see through, but you could see through this. And at this time, you could, you know, maneuver, you know, have it like that, and then take both these and intersect them. And there's your graphic for your shoe to print. Pretty cool design. And what I like about it, you know, you still got this other one. Well, I backed up too much. You still got this other one if you want to look at it. And really, you only have to do that once because if you want both sides the same, you could just duplicate that and mirror that. And then both sides are going to be the same. But what I like about the intersect tool, if you don't like the graphic inside that space, uh, and it is kind of hard to see, we could actually make that line yellow. And then you could rotate it. And, you know, if you wanted, like, make sure that's in it, make sure that rose is in it. If you want this rose, just, you know, move the whole thing over a little bit. And then select it all and intersect it. Now, why that did that, I have no clue. Let me back up here. You know what? I wonder if my graphic is not solid. Yeah, I had another shoe in there. I must have hit a copy. So we'll just delete it. You can always move your graphic around and make sure. Then you put it up here. And if you want that, whatever that is, and that whole rows, and then just use your intersect tool. Now you could use the, what a lot of people are going to use, the uh, power clip. But I find this is a lot easier and a lot cleaner. And you've still got a graphic to work with. Now power clip has an edit where you can move it around. But that's how I would do it. And then like same on this one, just make a duplicate, hit the plus key. And there's your other shoe. And then this way, they're going to have the exact graphic on both sides. But the most important thing is to make sure your picture is scaled with your shoe. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.